And people wonder why people do not trust the police is because of bullshit like this. Now, they won't release the video within a year. I feel like they're just covering up their own. It's like they release stuff all the time. And now they're not releasing this because it's a disabled guy, French, and his family, who his family are still recovering from their injuries. This is why no one trusts the police, because this is bullshit. A disabled man gets killed and murdered by a cop at a Costco in Corona. And he has disability problems. And even his family got shot too. Here's the video from the LAPD department. Josh Rubenstein, a public information director of the Los Angeles Police Department. How the hell did a weather guy become information director of LAPD? And he talks about how he has such a passion for community service. Dude, if you really want to be, you know, help out and part of community service... Why not grab a shovel or grab a ladle and, like, help out and build homes for Habitat of Humanity or grab a ladle and feed the homelessness in Los Angeles, but you're part of the problem by being part of the corruption like the rest of LAPD? I mean, this is bullshit, man. I mean, he's off duty. The guy was just there and he feared for his life and his children and he shot the guy. There was no reason for it at all. And uh, Patton Oswalt just tweeted, I love you, green shirt guy. I love you, green shirt guy. I truly, truly love you, green shirt guy. Seen inside of a Tucson City Council meeting, officials voted to put a sanctuary city measure on the November ballot. And the guy's just laughing like you're a dumb bitch. <laughs> that's hilarious. And the guy's just laughing hysterically. I mean, that's the thing. If you're that annoying and that stupid, you're going to get made fun of. Um... But, no, I mean, LAPD is full of corruption. Um, I think it's deplorable, and it's awful that they won't release it. I mean, I don't want to watch it. I'm not going to. However, the public has the right to know. And that's the thing. They protect their own. And that's what gets maddening to us is because... We can't trust anyone. We can't trust our government. We can't trust our police. We can't trust anybody. Who can we trust now? You see my point? One of my friends got murdered by two police officers in the city of Riverside. And... Those cops got off. However, the family sued and they won. Um, I don't know how much they won, the money, but it doesn't matter. What, what should have mattered 
is that those cops should have been in jail for that shit, and they didn't. And that's why our country is bullshit, and that's why this is the worst country in the goddamn world. And I don't care. Go fuck yourself. I don't care if I piss you people off. I don't care anymore. Fuck you. America isn't what we know. Okay? We have tons of racists. We have tons of evil assholes everywhere. We have a president who doesn't give a shit about anybody. We have both liberals and Democrats not doing anything about police brutality. And it makes me not believe anybody anymore. I mean, sure, I'm supporting Bernie Sanders, but we need to do something about corruption in this country. It's ridiculous. Law enforcement officials are not held at a higher standard, and they're committing crimes, and they, I mean, if you break the law, you should be in jail for it. Simple as that. You know, there are laws. There are federal and state laws. And it's like you have people who've never done anything wrong in their life and they're victims. And I'm not saying every cop is bad, but a, the huge majority are. And it it's also kind of annoying when you see like public service announcements by Josh Rubenstein. It's like, how the hell did a weather guy become part of LAPD like that is like ridiculous that he did that I I think that's ridiculous and KCAL 9 isn't even on direct TV anymore because you know they're douchebags um anyway yeah uh Donald Trump's a piece of shit um LAPD are obviously covering up their you know that what happened in Corona at a Costco and obviously they're covering it up. I mean what else is it? I mean it's bullshit that they do this shit all the time. They always hide stuff. They never and this is why I, I have a hard time even you know, I know some people who are cops and I have a hard time being around them because I I'm not going to go into detail just to, you know, cuz they were private conversations um between me and the other person and I can't really disclose it. However, some of the conversations do come off really offensive. And some of the stuff they would laugh or joke about things, I would get very offended by it. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I don't really trust them and I don't really like law enforcement really because I know how they are and it's really hard for me to look at someone and think oh he could be a good guy but the majority isn't true and the fact is a lot of these so-called people that we admire are not who they seem and you know I mean they snap all the time on people. And it's just ridiculous. I remember that story. And at first, when the news first broke out, everyone thought the worst. But then when people found out it was when a cop shot a disabled man and died and shot his family... I mean, what? Seriously, there is no excuse for him to draw his weapon at all. There were so many things he could have done first before. And for them to not release the video just shows how corrupt they really are. I mean, LAPD has been corrupt ever since they started LAPD. I mean, I remember stories that I've read, like old history from like the 1940s to the 1960s of LAPD, and it is awful. I mean, what they, I mean, to this day, to this day, it's a crime to be black, basically, in this day and age. It's 2019. 
and we're still treating black people like crap and it's not fair and it's not right so anyway um thanks for listening and um i think it's bullshit that they won't release the tape